Hello everyone. Wanted to go over how to quickly repair um, models that have problems in Lychee. So when you bring a file in and it has um, these marks on it where it's red, it's telling you there's a mesh error in the file and so you can end up with uh, some artifacts in your print so like this where you have rectangle shapes that extend from the base up through or into the model and then also um, sometimes you'll have holes in the model like this and right here and just all kinds of weird stuff going on right so to alleviate that and actually get nice prints you can try and fix the mesh in Leachy's built-in uh, mesh repair tool it usually only is able to fix a few of the issues. So 64, not enough, right? Still too many uh, holes in the mesh. So what you can do is open it in 3D Builder. It'll ask you, yes, import the model. And then if there are mesh errors in the file, it will come up with this. So you click it. It'll sit here and run for a few minutes. It's very dependent upon your computer. Um, so to save everybody the five or 10 minutes it took to repair that, this is the output file when it's done. And as you can see, it now is a manifold mesh with no topology issues. 3D Builder is very good about not disrupting the actual shape of your file um, and not ruining the, the model itself, but still providing a manifold mesh. Um, the problem really arises with those pillars when models are hollowed in Chi2Box, supported in Chi2Box, exported as an STL, and then brought into Lychee. Chi2Box uh, handles geometry slightly differently from Lychee. So when there are like double vertices, so there are two points in exactly the same position, or double faces where they occupy the exact same space, but maybe one of them is flipped over, so the normal is facing the opposite direction. What will happen is Lychee is reading those more correct than Chitu, but Chitu knows how to handle it uh, a little better or more elegantly, I'll say. So you just need to make sure your models are actually have no topology issues and you will avoid those tall vertical pillars. Oftentimes you can get away with leaving it as is and not having problems. Um, but when you do have issues, there's an easy way to fix it. Have a good one.